CNN political reporter Sarah Murray. She is outside Trump Tower in busy New York. Sarah, you've talked to Republican sources. What do they think these three picks signal about how Donald Trump is going to govern? Well, in many ways, the response from Republicans on the Hill has been positive, or at least an acknowledgement that the incoming president deserves to build his own team. One thing this does not signal, though, is that President-elect Donald Trump is planning on taking the hard edge off of his proposed policies anytime soon. Donald Trump unveiling the first layer of his national security team. A trio of picks signaling the president-elect has little interest in moderating the hardline views he campaigned on. We have to be tough and we have to be strong. Trump announcing retired General election. Michael Flynn for national security media. advisor. Alabama Senator Jeff Sessions for attorney general. And Congressman Mike Pompeo for CIA director. Each one of them known for their unyielding and at times controversial views. Yes, that's right. Lock her up. Flynn has been lauded as a talented battlefield intelligence officer, but he could fuel concerns that Trump's White House is a haven of intolerance. He's made a habit of voicing concern about Islam, which he once called more of a political ideology than a religion. Sessions is known for his staunch anti-immigration positions in his two decades in the Senate, but he's also echoed Trump's calls for Hillary Clinton to face a special prosecutor for her use of a private email server. A threat Sessions could turn into a reality if he's confirmed. The evidence indicates to me that this should be fully investigated. I cannot say Mr. Comey has not completed a full investigation, so, but it seems like he has not. As for Pompeo, the House Intelligence Committee member has been a fierce critic of Clinton's handling of the 2012 attack in Benghazi. How come not a single person lost a single paycheck? Connected to the fact that we had the first ambassador killed since 1979, how come no one has been held accountable to date? The Kansas Republican arguing there was a cover-up surrounding Benghazi as the panel investigating the incident failed to find new evidence of wrongdoing on behalf of the Obama administration or Clinton. Trump unveiling his picks with little pomp and circumstance, blasting out a press release with his selections this morning as he remained ensconced in Trump Tower. The president-elect now set to hunker down at his golf club in Bedminster for a weekend of non-stop meetings. Among those making the trek to see the president-elect, 2012 GOP nominee Mitt Romney, former chancellor of the Washington, D.C. public schools Michelle Rhee, and General James Mattis. A source tells CNN Romney has long wanted to serve as secretary of state, but a cabinet post in a Trump White House would surprise many given the tone between the two men during the campaign. Donald Trump is a phony. A fraud. No, I have a lot of friends. By the way, Mitt Romney is not one of them. Now, one of the lingering questions is whether Donald Trump this weekend will be seriously considering some of these moderate Republicans, past rivals, and even Democrats for top cabinet positions, or whether these meetings are merely for the optics. Jim? Well, he may.